Videos like these are helped made possible thanks to the generous support from my viewers. If you would like to support this channel, you can do so over on my Ko-Fi. For as little as just $1, you can help make videos like this one possible. And thank you so much to everyone who has already supported me. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be talking about Ralsei's Dark Fountain, why I think it's a grand fountain that's made of pure darkness, and what that means, along with why I think Ralsei can exist in any dark world. I'm also going to be talking about some other miscellaneous theories that just wouldn't be long enough to make a full video out of, but I still want to talk about them in a video. Now before I begin, all of these theories are going to be working off of my Ultimate Ralsei Theory. I highly recommend you watch that one first before you watch this video. But just to give a quick rundown of that theory, Chris is the knight, they made Ralsei and his Dark World, and they are working together to open Dark Fountains and then go seal them in order to do a thing. Now let's start with Ralsei and why he can exist in any Dark World without turning to stone. Well, most people believe that it's simply because Ralsei was made from the Grand Fountain that flows with pure darkness, and that's why he can exist in any Dark World. And while this might be right, I think there's a different reason for Ralsei not turning to stone. Ralsei says the reason why Darkners turn to stone is because they don't belong in that Dark World, but it's important to remember that he says they might not belong. And we have already seen another Darkner from the Cyber World in Chapter 3. In the green room, we can see a mouse Darkner. This is the computer mouse to Azrael's computer. So Darkners can exist in other Dark Worlds without needing to be special in any way, just as long as they belong in that Dark World, whatever that is meant to mean. Now remember, in the original theory, Ralsei is Chris's red horn headband. So Ralsei is literally Chris's favorite hat brought to life with the power of darkness. And so, because Ralsei has a special connection with Chris, he is able to exist in any Dark World as long as Chris is in it with him. Basically, because Ralsei's Light World item belongs to Chris, he can belong in any Dark World as long as Chris is also there. And Chris must have known this, which is why they chose to use their headband specifically as the Darkner that will guide the player through the Dark World because Chris knew that it would make a special Dark Nerd that could exist in any Dark World as long as they were together. Now let's talk about the Grand Fountain and why it's made of pure darkness and allows any Dark Nerd to live inside it. Now, I'm going to propose an idea. There is nothing inherently unique about Ralsei's Dark World. The thing that I believe makes Ralsei's Dark World special is the location that it's in. The reason why all Darkners can exist in the Supply Closet Dark World is because it's a Supply Closet. You can put anything in a Supply Closet and it wouldn't be out of place because the whole point of a Supply Closet is to store extra items. That's why its fountain is made out of pure darkness, because the closet doesn't have a greater purpose. Any dark fountain made in a room that doesn't have a defined purpose, or if its only purpose is as a storage room, then it would be a grand fountain made out of pure darkness. I mean, think about it like this. If the grand fountain is made out of pure darkness, then that must mean that the other dark fountains are made of impure darkness. And why would that be? Why would they be impure? Well, because of the environments that they are in, and the items that are in them. That makes them impure. I mean, let's take a look at what pure means, not mixed with any other substances or material, without any extraneous and unnecessary elements, free of any contamination. And what is in the Grand Fountain when we first drop in? Almost nothing, just piles of dust, some pieces of blank paper that probably made up the castle town, and Ralsei. Now let's talk about will for a moment. Ralsei says that the dark worlds and the darkness in them reflect the will of its fountain, which means that the fountain must have a will of its own somehow and that it's this will that determines if a Darkner can exist in it. And what I want to figure out is how is this will determined? And I think I have an idea for how it's meant to work. The fountain's will is determined by the room the fountain is in, the items in said room, and the person who made the fountain. And when I say the person who made it, I mean what they want the Dark World to be like. It's all of these things blending together that forms the fountain's will. This is why Chris manipulated the rooms by turning on the TV and the laptop and spreading the toys across the floor. This was the fact of the items in the rooms and changed the items' wills, or something like that. And so let's say that the closet fountain has a pure will because of how it was made. Because it's in a room with no real purpose, with no items in it, and having a pure will lets any darkner exist in it. So basically, it's a grand fountain because it's made of pure darkness, and it's made of pure darkness because of its pure will, 
and has a pure will because of the circumstances it was made in, and because it has a pure will, all darkeners can live in it. And Chris must have known all of this, which is why they chose to make the closet their dark world castle town, as they knew that it would become a grand fountain that any darkener can live in, making it the perfect base of operations to store their darkener army. While I'm on a similar topic, I think now is a good time to talk about how Ralsei is able to travel between Dark Worlds. So here's the thing, we know for a fact that Ralsei has the ability to do this, and because of that, it really doesn't matter that much how he is able to do it. Ralsei being able to do this is just something that needs to exist in order for the game and story to work. So Toby could come up with any contrived nonsense to explain it, and we would just have to accept it. The answer could literally be that Ralsei puts a magic ingredient in his cauldron and then jumps in it and then he gets plopped out in the other dark world and we would just have to accept it, you know? But I guess it's worth discussing what the possible answer might be. So what if Chris is carrying Ralsei on them? Well, we know that Chris has a secret inventory because they keep a knife on them at all times. So Chris could be carrying Ralsei without us knowing. But this one I think is pretty unlikely but I'm not sure if I would say it's impossible. We can see Lancer in the Dark World while he's in Chris's inventory. When you check the items, Lancer will say that he's jumping in and out of Chris's pocket really fast. So who's to say that Ralsei isn't doing the same thing? However, this would mean that every time we leave the Dark World, Ralsei is jumping up 20 feet in order to jump into Chris's pocket right when the screen turns white, so we can't see. Now, if you're thinking, well, that's stupid, yeah, that's because it is. So that one's probably wrong. Honestly, I think the teleportation idea is more likely. We already know the portal doors are a thing in the Dark Worlds. Who's to say that Ralsei doesn't have a more powerful version of that magic he can use on command? One other idea is that all of the Dark Worlds are connected with each other and that Ralsei is moving between them through some kind of secret tunnel through the depths. But the thing is, this is definitely one of the mysteries that we can't answer right now. It will probably be answered later at some point when it's more relevant, but right now, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now I think I'm going to talk about T-Theory. So if you somehow have never heard of T-Theory, this is the basic gist. You can get character T's in Chapter 2, and the T's heal the characters based on how much they like each other. That's it. Now the main thing we're going to be focusing on is why Ralsei T only heals Chris for 60 HP. One of my most liked comments on my ultimate Ralsei theory was asking how T-theory works within the theory and what my thoughts on it are. And so I'm going to be covering my response, but in a bit more depth and in video form. So here's the thing, there are multiple different ways to interpret this. So keep that in mind that the answer is not one solid theory, but multiple different possible theories that may even be stacked on top of each other. One way to view this is that Chris still views Ralsei as an item and not their own person and Chris's feelings towards him reflect this. Chris likes Ralsei in the same way that you like your hat, because it keeps the sun out of your eyes. Chris likes Ralsei because he's useful, but not in the same way that you like your best friend. But a different way to view this is that Chris does view Ralsei as their own person, but just doesn't consider them a close friend. Because at this point in the story, Ralsei has only really existed as a person for about three days now. So Chris doesn't see Ralsei as a close friend yet, because Chris doesn't really know Ralsei yet. And to be fair, Ralsei doesn't really know himself yet either. I think it makes sense that Chris would have some complex feelings about Ralsei, even if they were the one that created him. I think as the story progresses and Ralsei goes through his character arc, that Chris will grow closer to Ralsei and Ralsei T will heal Chris for more HP later in the game. It's also important to remember that Noel T only heals Chris 10 more HP than Ralsei T. So Chris likes Ralsei almost as much as they like Noel. These are not the only possible ways to interpret T theory within my theory, but I do want to emphasize that Chris does not hate or dislike Ralsei or Noel. If they did, then the T should heal Chris for negative health. If anything, the most interesting thing about T theory is that Chris likes Susie as much as they do. But I have a feeling was probably the case before the start of the game. Okay, I think that's all I want to say um, about these topics, at least for right now. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. 
Uh, your support is greatly appreciated.